Hello guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Suppose we have a quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So we're asking to get the roots by factoring. Kapag ka-factor natin, dapat ang quadratic equation natin ay nasa standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, dapat nasa left side yung may x squared, then yung x, at yung constant. At dito sa example natin, wala namang problema dahil naka-standard form na siya. Sa pagka-factor, iisip lang tayo ng two numbers na kapag minultiply natin, ang result ay positive 12. At kapag pinag-add natin, ang result ay positive 7. Sa pagka-factor, minsan para itong crush mo. Hindi mo makukuha kung tititigan mo lang. Well, what's the matter with you? What's the matter? You're old, you, you know. Huh? You're, you're old. You're old. You're old. So, para makuha natin, pwede nating subukan lahat. Ano ba yung mga factor ng 12? 12 times 1. Hindi pwede dahil pag pinag natin, 12 plus 1 is 13. Next is 6 times 2. Pag pinag natin, 6 plus 2 is 8. So, hindi pa rin pwede. Next is 3 times 4. Pag pinag natin, 3 plus 4 is 7. So, ito na yung magiging factor natin. Lagay na lang natin dito. So, x plus 3 because positive 3. And x plus 4 because positive 4 equals to 0. So, itong x plus 3 at x plus 4 natin, kapag minultiply natin or in-expand natin ito, ang result ay itong quadratic equation natin. At kung may mga case kayo na nagda-doubt kayo sa factor nyo, pwede nyo siyang expand or multiply. So pagkatapos nyo makuha yung factor, gagamit tayo ng zero product property. The zero product property simply states that if a, b is equal to zero, then either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero or both. So ibig sabihin, yung a natin dito, x plus 3, yung b natin, x plus 4. The question is, Paano magiging 0 yung x plus 3? Ano yung magiging value ng x natin? Paano kuhain? At para sa x plus 4, ano yung magiging value ng x para maging 0 yung x plus 4 or yung b natin? I-equate lang natin sa 0 yung x plus 3 at x plus 4. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtract both sides by 3 and you will get the value of x equals to negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, kapag sinubstitute natin ang negative 3 dun sa x, yung a natin magiging 0 at yung x plus 4 natin magiging 1 and 0 times 1 is equal to 0. Next is x plus 4 is equal to 0, subtract both sides by 4 and we will get the value of x equals to negative 4. So, ito na yung pangalawa nating value ng x. Then, kapag sinubstitute natin, yung b dyan magiging 0 at yung a natin magiging negative 1. And negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0. So, yan yung application ng zero product property. At itong nakuha nating values ng x ay magsasatisfy dun sa quadratic equation natin. At tinatawag itong solution set or roots. Para sa kasunod nating example, nakita ko lang to dun sa dati kong reviewer nung nagre-review pa ako para sa board exam. The solution set for the equation x squared minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. A. x is equal to positive 5, positive 9. B. x is equal to positive 5, positive 1. C. x is equal to negative 5, positive 1. D. x is equal to positive 5, negative 1. Same process lang ulit. Let us solve this by factoring. Isip lang ulit tayo ng two numbers na kapag multiply natin, ang result ay negative 5 at kapag pinag-add natin, ang result negative 4. So ano kaya yung two numbers na yun? I-try natin ang positive 5 and negative 1. Pag pinag-multiply natin, ang result negative 5. So pag pinag-add natin, 5 plus negative 1 is equal to positive 4. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito. So try natin ang negative 5 and positive 1. Pag pinag-multiply natin, equals to negative 5. Negative 5 plus 1 is equal to negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung magiging factor natin. And that would be x minus 5 
times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Equate lang ulit natin sa 0 ang x minus 5 at x plus 1 to get the values of x. x minus 5 is equal to 0 and then add tayo tiga bilang side ng 5 and x is equal to positive 5. Then, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Subtract tayo both sides by 1. So, we will get the value of x equals to negative 1. So, ang solution set natin ay positive 5 and negative 1. And that would be letter D. Kung nagdadoubt kayo ng kauntian, pwede nyong i-substitute ang positive 5 at negative 1 dun sa quadratic equation natin. Kailangan mag 0 equals to 0 or magiging true. Subukan natin sa positive 5, 5 squared minus 20 minus 5 is equal to 0. 25 minus 20 is positive 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, 0 is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, true. Next is negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. 1 plus 4 minus 5 is equal to 0. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 and 0 is equal to 0 so ibig sabihin, check pa din. Para sa mas marami pang example, meron pa tayong part 2. Bye-bye!